Hello and welcome to this Business Central Explained video. Today we will have a look at how you can create a new sandbox environment if you are running Business Central online. The sandbox environment can be handy to use if you want to try out uh, new functions in the system or can also be handy if you do AL development against Business Central online environments. And for every production environment you have a license for, you can have up to three uh, sandbox environments running in the same Business Central tenant. So to be able to create a new sandbox, you have to go into the admin center of Business Central. Uh, and the admin center we find uh, access to in the uh, gear here, uh, my settings or settings in, uh, in the upper right corner of your screen. So I click on the gear and I go to uh, admin center. And uh, after a while, Business Central will uh, produce or show me a list of what environments I have in this tenant. And here you can see that I have uh, one production environment and I have two sandbox environments. So um, that means that in this uh, specific environment, uh, my quota allows me to create yet another sandbox environment if I want to do so. And there are basically two ways of creating a sandbox. I can choose to either create a completely new sandbox if I click on new, and then I will uh, then I will get up after a while some uh, guidance on how to create a new uh, sandbox environment. It was a little slow today, so then first I have to uh, give it an, an environment name, and I can call it BC Explained as the name. And I can choose whether it should be a production environment or a sandbox environment. Uh, but you see, if I select production here, it says you cannot create more than one production environment. So I have to switch, switch this to sandbox. And then I can uh, select which country version I want. Thank you, Siri, for assisting me in creating this video. Sorry, I'm just going to mute my cell phone for a while uh, so you can create a um, you can create a sandbox for a different country than what you actually are licensed for so i'm in norway so if i want to create a let's say a us sandbox i can just select us here and i can select what version i want my sandbox to be and here you can see that i get two options I get the options of running the current version that is released and that is version 20.5 or I can select my sandbox to be the next or the preview of the next major release that will be uh, Business Central 2022 Release Wave 2 that we expect to be launched in October. So I can select the preview version here now if I want to and I can just hit create and the system will start to create a new sandbox environment for me. So this will take a couple of minutes um, before it's done. So now you can see it has the status here of preparing. Uh, the other way of creating a new sandbox is to, for ex example, take a production environment that is already running and make a copy of it. So you can go to production here, for instance, what, um, that is my production environment uh, and I can choose the copy function here it's a menu item in the rib ribbon of the upper part of my screen I can say copy and I can uh, choose a new uh, I can use choose a new uh, environment main name for my copy so I say my copy and I can choose to make that a sandbox environment. No, I don't have a quota for creating more sandbox environment. So if I uh, hit uh, copy here now, I will probably get an error saying that um, I cannot create more than one copy. But let's see. Ah, it actually 
um, started the scheduling of the environment. So maybe it is because it was now creating two sandbox environments in the preparing, so it's not able to um, actually discover yet that I'm running more than um, more sandbox environment than what my license actually allows me to. So it will take a while for these um, for these um, sandbox environments to be prepared because everything is going to have to be installed in a new instance in the Microsoft Azure data centers. But if we give it a couple of minutes, then you will see that these sandbox uh, environments switch from the preparing status to the active state that you can see is the state of the other environments. So. Uh, that is a great thing uh, and a great function when you want to try out new things in Business Central. It can also be nice to know that when you make a copy of a production environment onto a sandbox, uh, the process of copying the environment will also make sure that every uh, job queues are stopped so you don't have to worry about uh, and job queues that are running both in your production environment and in your um, sandbox environment. It will also do things to the uh, email system that you have configured in your production system so that unless you actually want to have email sent from your sandbox environment, um, you will not do that by accident. And there are also a a few other things that happens when you when you copy a production environment onto a sandbox environment. But uh, Microsoft had, have described that pretty good, so I will try to link um, to that documentation from Microsoft in the below this video. So thank you for watching and welcome to the next uh, Business Central Explained video. Please like and subscribe if you want me to produce more videos like this one. Thank you.